Hello Cancer Singles and welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this video is going to be for the Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the first half of July 2019. Happy 4th everyone. I hope that this reading finds you guys well and good and in good spirits. But before we get started, let me let you know that this is a general reading. So as with any other general reading, there are going to be parts of this reading that may resonate with you or parts that do not. Take in what does, discard the rest. Please don't force fit the reading and please, please do not make any life changing decisions based on a general reading. On that note, if you are interested in getting a personal reading, I, excuse me, do still have a promotion going on on my website for half price on 30 and 60 minute sessions uh, for live phone readings. Okay, you can find the promo codes below in the description box. You can also find them on my website and on a 14 second video on my page as well. Please, when you enter the promo code, when you type it in, be sure to hit enter so that your discount is applied to your order. That said, let's get into it. Let's get into it, Cancers. Mm, Holy Spirit, show me what you have for the Cancerians. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, Cancer, sorry about that. So, Cancers, I'm feeling like this period of time is about mind power, okay? I feel like this is a time to really focus on your mind. What I mean by that is be careful of how, where you focus your thoughts because your mind at this point can either be a weapon of destruction, right? Bringing in what it is that you do not want in your life or it can work, work to your benefit. I'm seeing that there's something here, right, that you may be trying to attract into your life. And Spirit is saying, decree it, right? And you'll become what it is that you desire. I feel that this is a very exceptional time for you to follow your intuition. I also feel that there's issues here with trust, okay? Maybe you feel that you slipped up by trusting someone, someone that ultimately broke your heart cancer. Whether this is a family member, um, a relative, someone you work with. But what I do see is a love relationship. I feel like you've met your match. You're on the same wavelength with this person. Maybe you don't even realize it yet, okay? For some of you, you may not even have met this twin flame. But I do feel that there is a chance meeting that may come about if you have not already met your twin flame. I feel like this person brings out the youthful side of you, the playful side of you, the best side of you, the happy side of you, the happy giddy side of you. And I do feel that there is a start of something new. I do feel, however, that you're feeling down on yourself. Maybe you're feeling down because of finances, perhaps. And I'm also seeing healing. I'm also seeing fertility. Okay, so this is something new on the rise, possibly. Something new that you're trying to begin. Something that's entering the beginning stages. Like I said, it could be this love relationship. And this could also be a very fertile time for you. For those who are, those of you who are wanting to have a child, this may be the time to try. Um, there's something that you're waiting for, Cancers. And Spirit is saying, what are you waiting for? Get it done. Okay. There's someone here that you no longer speak to. Uh, could be someone in a, from a group setting, like work, but perhaps. I do see you going on vacation. Some of you are vacationing. Some of you definitely have a very creative side. And there's a part of you that longs to release that creative expression. But see, the overall energy for your reading is barriers. There's some type of barrier keeping you from where you want to be, perhaps. Maybe because of issues of trust. Maybe because of fear of the unknown. Maybe it's because you're afraid to be hurt more than you already have because I feel that there's still a wound, an emotional wound here that you're still healing from. 
Maybe right now you're feeling cynical about love and you're putting up your walls because you don't want to be hurt just like you were in the past. Someone that really meant a lot to you. Maybe there's a lesson here that you've learned after all is said and done. I do see where there has been conflict between you and someone, Cancer. I do feel that there is going to be a time for you to lay all of that aside and get back to a time of peace. Some of you could be dealing with court decisions. I'm feeling that court decisions are being settled. I feel like Cancer, you gave your heart willingly to someone. You completely let your guard down and decided to love this person. I feel for some of you, this may be a love relationship, but I also see a father figure. So for some of you, you may have had a strange, a strained relationship with your father. And something here may be coming back together. I feel that there's an apology that's coming your way. Some of you, you're meeting your twin flame on vacation. Maybe this is you saying, you know what, I need, you know, I'm stressed. I've got a lot on my shoulders. I need a break, right? But I do feel that you're worried about something. What are you worried about, Cancer? Ah, you're worried about a conflict. You're worried about an argument that happened here. Someone that you don't talk to anymore. So you, you're not on speaking terms with them. Some of you could be having nightmares. Some of you could be seeing things from the corner of your eye. And you're not sure if what you saw, right? What I mean by that is like maybe a shadow figure. And you look and it's gone. And you want to know if that was a figment of your imagination? Mm -mm. No, I don't think it was. Ooh. Some of you cancers are afraid of looking like a fool. Or maybe you feel like you were a fool in love for this person. Right? Maybe you feel like you bend over backwards and you did more than you normally would do in a love relationship just because of how much you really did care for this person. Maybe you were dealing with someone that wasn't able to or wasn't willing or ready to or had a fear or phobia about being vulnerable and opening up as much as you did. Okay, So maybe you felt like you were constantly having to reach for this person's feelings. Right, They weren't readily able to tell you what was on their mind for one reason or another. And so I feel like that was part of the demise of the relationship, right? Feeling like you have to pull teeth to get answers. I feel like you were dealing with someone who was depressed or had some issues here with sadness. Okay, and let's see what this is about. Hmm. Something here brought out the emotion within you, but I feel that someone here pushed you away or they didn't. I want to see what this is because I'm not even sure which way to stretch this. Okay, Definitely strong Leo energy. Um, I do feel that there's a message. Some of you could be working online, um, worried about something you saw online. This could be someone reaching out to you from a distance. Text, email, social media is what I'm getting. But let me see what this is about because I'm not certain about what this is that I see. Or let me just get more clarity before I speak on it, please. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is this about? Reveal this to me, Holy Spirit. Some of you are worried about home, stability, home life, a family life. I did say a father figure, right? So this could be the father of your children. Perhaps the father of your children disappointed you in some way. Maybe they cheated on you and that's what they did to hurt you. Maybe it was something they said. Maybe it was their actions, right? Maybe they did something, obviously, that pushed you away. Cancer, bear with me one more. Looks like this ends and begins again, though. There's going to be a shift to your situation, likely, where someone who you feel betrayed you, did you wrong in some type of way, comes back to apologize. I feel like you're going to get back on good terms with this person. Okay, I don't feel like the two of you are going to stay away from one another for very long. Yeah, this could definitely be your child. 
someone feels, someone definitely feels that they are being watched, being judged. They feel like they're under a microscope. And because of that, I feel like they lashed out at you. Okay, they acted in a very immature way. Or at least that might be how you see it. And so I feel like this person was very disrespectful in what it, how it is that they behaved. Maybe in their thinking they were disrespectful. Um, I feel that there's a fire sign here. You might have fire and air in your ch immediate chart. I don't feel like you're feeling like you're confident, so. I also hear overcompensating. Someone here is overcompensating for something. Um, and someone here is sneaky, hiding. Someone is hiding their feelings, hiding their emotions. Okay, I did talk about, I did allude to that when I was talking about um, someone not being vulnerable. What is someone hiding here? Hiding a person. Hiding a relationship. What? Okay. Someone here has a whole family somewhere else. For some of you. This isn't going to ring true for everyone. Someone has a child with some. I see father, mother. There could definitely be an age difference between you and this person, or the age difference could be that this is, um, especially if you're dealing with a male, it may have something to do with this person's mother. That could be the age gap that I'm seeing, mother and son. I see a child here, a baby. We did talk about fertility, so here it is. This is with a twin flame, someone, okay, maybe you feel like someone is hiding you, hiding their love for you, hiding the level of commitment that the two of you really have. Someone is interested in knowing, okay, someone may have found out about a commitment that someone was hiding, they may have found it out via social media or something online. Because I definitely do see a relationship. I definitely see two people here. But I see, yeah, immature communication. Right? Someone's trying to get back at you. Possibly a third party. There are three people. There must be. Okay? Because I do see someone trying to interfere. And I hear someone saying, back off. And I see someone spying, wanting to get more information about what's really going on. Okay, this is deep. <sighs> Let me make sure that I deliver this to you, Cancer, because I get the feeling that some of you didn't know about something that's playing out here. All right. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can pull some more information. I'm seeing barrier, right, as the overall energy. The barrier is this other person. The barrier is also someone not willing to open up emotionally and be vulnerable. There is a message. Either someone is sending a message, verbal message, or there is a written message that you may receive from someone. I see two women here. This could be two women in your scenario. Okay, maybe this is these are people that you work with, perhaps. These could be family members, but either way, I feel that this could even be that someone is involved with two people. Maybe you found out about the other person because you were doing some investigating work, right? You were looking at, looking for some clues because maybe this person was acting kind of weird, right? I see someone that's not feeling like themselves or someone here has body image issues. Someone here does not accept or love themselves, is what I'm getting. But it, it's more about image, the way that they look. Someone is worried that someone's going to leave. Leave to, to be with a family. Someone is, is afraid that someone is a flight risk. In other words, they feel like this person could flee the relationship at any moment. Yeah, you thought you were in a stable place in this relationship. 
and then something shifts and makes you feel unhappy. But what is this about? And maybe the two of you moved in together and you found that it just wasn't the right move for you. And they hurt you. You're hurt in some way by something that you found out about that's making you feel unhappy. Right. And now you feel like a fool. You came out of your shell, you gave your heart to this person, and you found out that they were double dealing with the two of pentacles. They were juggling two people, juggling a whole other relationship. And see, you were worried about that. Maybe you already knew that this person had another person, that they had a family somewhere else. So maybe that's that was your fear, that they're going to leave. And maybe they did leave after an argument. Oh yeah, someone here doesn't think before they speak. Someone here has been in and, out of, in and out of your life, Cancer. Someone at a distance from you. And so maybe the two of you did begin something and it ended as quickly as it started. Some of you are waiting for someone to leave a relationship. Someone hid the fact that they have a child with someone or a, or that the, a marriage with someone, right? I see three children. Maybe another one on the way. If you're waiting for someone to leave cancer from a, a commitment, a long-standing commitment or a live-in relationship with someone, it looks like you may get your wish or maybe you're wishing for a family. Maybe you're wishing that someone will have a child with you. Okay, but now you're feeling stuck. Maybe feeling like you're running out of time. Oh yeah, definitely. This person cheated on you with someone else. And for some of you, I feel that this may have been the case and there may be someone else coming in the picture for you after you let this go. Oh, I see somebody else. I see someone coming in. This is the same person is what I'm getting. And they may still be dealing with three people. Are they dealing with three people? Whoever walked away, I feel like someone walked away. This was either you, Cancer, or, the, or your love interest may have walked away and decided that they no longer wanted this connection. Um, and I, I feel that there's someone here that's heckling them, maybe a mother, okay? A mother figure could be heckling them and saying, I told you so, that type of thing. Or someone here just doesn't want to hear the truth about something. Someone here told you to leave or someone here told you, maybe this was you, Cancer. You said you're going to leave, but I know you'll be back, right? This other situation that you're going into, it's, it's not going to make you happy. Could have been what you told them. And yeah, you're right, because here's the tower. Something here crashes and burns. Someone is having a financial situation or is in some type of a financial crisis. For some of you, I see um, someone is paying someone money secretly, maybe to be quiet. I don't know. What is this about? This is weird. I do see deceptive energy, but what is this about? Yeah, you felt like this person wasn't really giving to this relationship the way that you deserved. And I'm also saying that someone was keeping either you hidden or someone hidden. They had it hidden, the fact that they had a family with somebody else. They have a whole other family, a whole other commitment here. See the child there in the background with 
clarified with the two of rods they have two people two situations someone here is keeping something hidden um maybe giving money money to a, a, a child's mother maybe paying child support to a child's mother someone's hiding a child definitely a family well it looks like they may come to you to communicate with you about it but I see the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, two storylines. Whomever left is returning to you. If there hasn't been a reconciliation, then I feel that there is a reconciliation at hand. Possibly. Possibly. It's a general reading. What I also see is someone felt that the grass was greener on the other side. They kept another relationship hidden, knowing that they have a family, they have a wife at home, they have a husband at home. They have financial responsibilities. They share a home, right? And now they're leaving to reunite with their family. <sighs> or they cheated with you, who is single. This is a singles reading. And now they're going back. Maybe they went back to a family situation to try to work that out. Okay, because it looks like someone here is coming in that's committed. Someone is coming back. So if you're reuniting with someone, I see someone coming back to you ready for commitment. Otherwise, someone is already in a committed relationship. They're, all, they're not single. Something here shifts in this relationship. And let's see what this is. Okay, I see a Libra here for some of you. And I also see a Virgo. Something here didn't work out. And I feel like the, what the shift is, is that someone's coming back to you. But you're like, I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I'm not entertaining anything that you have to say. Right? You had your chance. You broke my heart. See, there's blood on the sword. You're going to go for the jugular. Okay. I see very intense words. I feel like you're going to say something that's going <laughs> to really hit them where it needs to hit them okay because you feel like someone manipulated you right took advantage of you because you were already afraid before you went into this relationship you already had a fear or a premonition that this person would hurt you but you have a, a phobia of being hurt because you've been hurt before not once but again and again deep emotional scars that you have from past relationships, possibly even stemming from your childhood with your own father. I see trauma that may have happened here. This could even be something like uh, molestation. Someone took advantage of your vulnerability as a child. And maybe now you have fear of intimacy. You're afraid to be close to people. Something here brought back pain from a long time ago with, with their actions, with the level of betrayal, with the intensity of their words that were pretty foul and uncalled for. And they broke you. They definitely broke your spirit. You feel broken down in some way. You feel judged, perhaps. You have regrets about having opened up and trusted this person because they hurt you. They betrayed you. It could have been your father that betrayed you. And you're so nurturing and so loving and caring. But you're definitely carrying around tears. Waiting for a harvest, but kind of feeling like feeling like you're coming up empty. I definitely feel like there's a lot of layers to something. People have taken advantage of your kindness over and over again, Cancer. So yeah, you're putting an end to it. Yeah, someone is reuniting with a family. Definitely, I see a family here. Someone is coming back to apologize because they've been there. They've, they've had a chance to think about something. 
and I feel that someone here is definitely feeling guilty about something that they said or did and so it the alcohol drinking someone here has addictions or some type of vices here whether it's gambling whether it's other women or men uh, other empty relationships that they get in to try to mask their pain to try to fill the void of not feeling loved as a kid for some of you this started from childhood or some type of family situation a broken family a family that was separated um, what do you call that? Okay, broken family. Some of you also have a hidden talent, but we'll get back to that. Some type of creative side to you. Okay. Deep, deep emotional wound. Something that goes way beyond the surface. Um, some of you may have lost someone to death, possibly a father. Someone passed away. And that could be part of those deep emotional scars. Someone left your life that meant the world to you. Now, so that's why Spirit says follow your intuition. Okay, because you're putting your guard up, but you may absolutely have to put your guard up. Right? Because you've been so nurturing and so kind. For some of you, this is your father that was estranged from you. And perhaps you do have your guard up with your own father for some reason. Because you feel like things aren't going to move forward. Um, maybe some of you wish to travel. You want to go on vacation. Maybe a road trip. But there could be something going on with a vehicle is what I'm getting. I see a home situation where something may have ended abruptly. But I see you moving to a better home. For others of you, or someone here returns home, from, returns home. Someone came from a broken home, wanting to break that kind of generational curse type of thing, and wanting to come into something more stable and have something better for their family, their their child. Right? They want their child's childhood to be better than what they had. Okay. Definitely feel that you do. You are kind of blocking someone out. Someone that maybe you felt was foolish in your life. You may receive a message from someone, a message of apology. Some of you are praying or trying or maybe meditating to get some type of clarity. Um, maybe getting some quiet time, right, to listen to your intuition, to feel out the situation, to figure out what it is that you want to do. Because, Cancer, you are highly intuitive. Some of you, it may be necessary for you to get out in nature, to clear your head. Or to bring out your creative side, to enhance that creative side of you. Okay, and others of you, maybe simply you've just been indoors too long and it's time to, you know, let that go. But I do feel that there are barriers. That's the overall central energy barriers. Something here is, is keeping you from taking that mask off. But I feel that at some point, Cancer, you're going to have to take off that mask, right? Because what I'm feeling is, what I'm sensing is, Cancer, you put on this mask, right, and try to make it appear that you're okay, that you're not broken, that you're not hurt. But deep down inside, it's like you're an emotional wreck. Maybe you feel that people are making fun of you or mocking you in some way. And maybe that's why you're, someone here is, is reacting in a disrespectful way. Someone's hurt. They don't want to admit it. But I do feel that this um, emotion is going to come up. And it could have something to do with an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Someone's here really bugging you. Hmm. Maybe even some mosquitoes. It could even be the elements. Maybe you go out in nature. Maybe that's why you're avoiding going out in nature because there's too many bugs around. All right. I also see a Taurus that could be somewhere in the picture. Someone here. There could be a Taurus here with, with um, father issues. See something begins again. Okay. Beautiful beginning. Something, like I said in the beginning, whatever ends here begins again. I see a creation of a new project. 
someone that is near and dear to your heart. I see you getting out near water. That could be very healing to your soul. I see a need to hydrate and drink more water. But I do feel that you at times feel that you're drowning in your emotions. But I feel that it's time to nurture yourself, right? Nurture your emotions. Something here is going to, with letting go of these things that are weighing you down, Cancer, I feel that you're going to feel like your true self again. This is a time for self-honesty. This is a time for laughter again, for joy. Remember I said that young energy. Someone brings out that young energy within you. Um, and I do feel that for some of you, there's a romantic partner that does that, that's coming into your life after, right, you've, you've gone through all of this emotional trauma. Now this person shows up in your life. You may see signs and synchronicities, and you may explain those away as if, um, it has nothing to do with anything that you're dealing with in your personal life, but it is. Things are aligning for you. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with your with your career. Decree. The word decree sticks out for me. Divorce decree. Someone you, you could be divorced from someone. Maybe someone that you're wait you're waiting for someone to get a divorce or a separation. A decree for a house. Okay, could be something. Some of you are purchasing a house. Some of you could be securing loans to purchase a house. Someone no longer feels like they're at a crossroads. And I feel that you're going to let your guard down and go for something and create a new opportunity. Right? If you feel like their opportunity hasn't opened up for you or that you haven't heard back from a job, it looks like you're going to blaze new trails and open up an opportunity for yourself. Something that definitely brings in stability and something that makes you absolutely fulfilled. Maybe some type of accomplishment. Okay, but something here you're de definitely feeling down about, insecure about. Maybe it's past rejection. Maybe your father told you that you were not capable of doing something. I'm saying death. Okay, so maybe it's like I know because I'm a Cancer Moon that Cancer sometimes if someone hurts you it, it, and they hurt you so deeply, it's like. Because you're speaking from those emotional wounds and maybe you're saying, you know what, you're dead to me because you hurt me so much. Okay, but we're talking about work. Um, I've, and that could be the case with someone that you work with. Someone betrayed you. It could have been a business partner, someone that you trusted, someone in your circle that you kept close to you. Um, I see celebrations. Celebration about leaving. And celebration has something to do with you leaving a situation. Um, maybe traveling, maybe there's a commute, okay, from, um, from one place to another. Yeah, you are moving. Yep, see that? The scripture, it says, and you will decree a thing and it will be firmly established unto you. In other words, you have the ability and the power to create whatever it is that you want in your life. And I do feel that the universe is co-conspiring with you um, with whatever this is that you're trying to create. If that this is a project, um, joining forces with people of like minds, that sort of thing, I feel like you definitely have the power to do it and more power to you. I feel like whatever this is that's causing you to worry um, if it's a lack of money or a lack of resources, I feel like you're going to come out of that period of worrying. All right, now you feel like you're kind of losing hope in some type of dream that you have or some type of aspiration that you have. Uh, maybe it was due to an argument, but this could even be an argument that you're having with yourself. Right? Part of you is saying, no, don't do it. Don't go for it. It's going to fail. Like it always does. It's a lie. But you believe it. Okay. And then the other side is saying, no, go for it. You'll win in the end, right? With the nine of, of cups, you're going to get your wish. Just do it and go for it. But part of you might be reluctant to take that leap of faith. But look, it all works out in your favor. So like I said, it, whatever this is that you're believing about not, not being able to do something, 
how could it be when you're the magician and you have the support of the universe on your side again you are co, co the universe is co-conspiring with you to bring something about but i do feel that there is a need to get centered and go within so that you can truly hear your intuition your intuition and the synchronicities of the universe are showing you that it is time to move on from a situation that no longer vibes with you, something that you've outgrown. And you feel that there's no real exchange here, no real balance here. It could have something to do with your schedule, right? The ratio of time that you spend at work versus at home with your family. Because I do feel that family life is very important to you. Um, maybe you got denied for a time off to go on a vacation, but I do feel that you would definitely benefit from time off. Or that's something that you're thinking about because maybe you do need some time to um, see that your family, your family, your children, right? This is something that you're very concerned about. Family life, whether you have children or not, um, your home life. Okay, you're saying, I want a life outside of this job, and I just don't feel like I, I'm getting that. Other, And I'm also seeing you severing the ties with a work relationship or letting go, severing the ties, ending a, a work situation. For some of you, work may end abruptly. You may decide to walk in and say, I quit, okay, because I stepped out on faith, and I decided to create what it is that I want, and then it, the empress... Where can you? Where do you go wrong? You 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 do nothing but succeed from there, okay? But I feel like you're feeling down on yourself. Maybe thinking about issues of the past that stem from your home life with your father, mother, father. I do see a family setting, a mother, a father, a divorced family. But I feel like that's 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 something generational, right? A broken family coming back together. A family that was once separated coming back together. So as above, so below. You didn't see this coming, but there's some type of a shift here. But I'm not talking about family. No, but you could work with family. Okay, so this definitely resembles a family type of situation. Or like I said, your tribe, people of like minds. I feel that you do see some options that are opening up for you. Something here has to come crashing down. For some of you, it is societal views. I don't know how to articulate what it is that I'm saying. It's like people, everyone else's expectations of you, the expectations that society imposes upon people. It's as though you're saying that that needs to come crashing down. Right now, you're creating your own set of I don't want to even say rules because it's like you're not wanting to be bound by rules. You're creating your own life and whatever that means to you. Seven of Cups. For some of you, you do have a third party situation at work. Maybe you work with your significant other. I do feel like you are dealing with an Aries. Aries is very prominent in this reading. Some of you work with your father directly or a father figure. And yeah, you're definitely protecting yourself from being hurt. You built a wall around yourself. You're protecting something, a business your money perhaps maybe you feel that someone is trying to come and take what it is that you've worked for but yeah it's like you're saying i no longer see a future in what i'm doing so why stick around right but you're reluctant to leave the situation even though your intuition is definitely telling you to go get something better or go find someone better but i do feel that someone comes up empty regarding a situation here where they feel that something, unless it's a job situation, because I do feel that there is something better on the horizon, that you're going to see some option to get yourself out of a situation and break free from something that no longer makes you happy. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer. 
Remember what I said, the overall energy for your reading is barriers. So that there's some type of barrier keeping you from where you are versus where you want to be. It could be a mindset. It could be, like I said, societal rules that you feel that you have to play by. <sighs> I see collaborative effort and I see you strategizing a way to, to um, embark on some type of vision or a plan. And I do see you co-creating and I see you being happier as a result of leaving something. But I do see that someone who someone left your in your life that comes back to stay. Someone that comes back that is committed. Let's see, this could even be your cross watcher. Let's take a look at the cross watcher for it's gonna call you guys Gemini's Cancer. You're, some of you are dealing with a Gemini, or you are on the cusp of cancer in Gemini. Your romantic partner could be a Gemini. And I also feel that some of you Cancers, this may even resonate with the Cancer couples. Because I feel that some of you might be in a gray area with your relationship. You're not together, but you're not exactly apart. Yeah, so your cross watcher, they do feel a lack of clarity here. I do see better days ahead, though. I do see you spending a lot of time with family, possibly going on a vacation. I see a group setting, a group gathering. So some of you are maybe attending a family reunion or a family is being reunited. Um, some of you could be having bad dreams, nightmares. Um, you could be having spirits communicate with you at night. Um, and maybe something startles you. Like I said, some of you may see a shadow figure and think that it's a figment of your imagination, but it really isn't. Um, I feel that there could be a phone call that kind of throws you off balance or that could be unexpected for you because I do see maybe something that you saw on social media could have been have caused you to feel off center. Some of you are having insomnia. Are you just exhausted? You're exhausted because you're staying up at night. Maybe spending a lot of time with your with your kids. Maybe spending a lot of time on a business. Maybe some of you are going on a business trip. Um, marketing yourself is what I'm seeing. Could be something that's going on with the with the cross watcher. These could even be things that you're daydreaming about. You're daydreaming about something else, another dream career, some type of other option. Something other than what you're doing right now. You could even be daydreaming about a particular person. But I feel like it's an opportunity. You're daydreaming about an opportunity, a business that you want to go and become very successful. Some of you are manifestors. Um, you're actual magicians or spiritualists, and, but you don't have confidence in your magic. You don't have confidence in your ability to create something. Something that you prayed for worked on manifesting so your ancestors are definitely trying to speak to you so that's what i was seeing with death your ancestors the people that have come and go, gone before you for some of you i feel that there is a generational pattern a generational wound that is carried down from that has to be broken here Someone here is not happy without you, Cancer, or Crosswatcher. This is you, possibly a Sagittarius. Mm. Someone here has a spiritual gift. Some of you could be communicating with your ancestors. You see people who, here who have passed away. In other words, some of you are spirit mediums, psychic mediums, or this is some type of um, ooh, a gift that you're being tapped in, that you're tapping into. You're, like I said, you're not going by society. You're going on your own journey. Something that goes, something that's unconventional with your job is what I'm getting. Some of you are spiritualists, psychics, um, tarot card readers. But I see someone who is sneaky and conniving. Someone here who uses their words as weapons. I'm also hearing no weapon formed against me shall prosper. 
Some of you feel like it's a respect thing. Some of you feel like someone infringed on your boundaries. Now you feel like you have to put up a barrier between you and this person. But I do see two people here who were meant to be here is your Gemini. I see that maybe you're wondering if your intuition might be telling you that this is the person that, that you're meant to spend, spend a very long time with. Even though you've had your share of struggles. Maybe the, there's coldness between you and this person right now. There's not a lot of warmth here. I'm also feeling that someone feels like a target. They feel like they're, they were targeted in this relationship. Maybe by someone's anger. Someone here may have anger issues or may have in the, in the past. But I do see open communication that comes forth with an air sign in Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, I'm seeing creativity also. Your creative side is going to come out or be enhanced in some way. Cross watcher. I'm also seeing someone firmly planted and ready to stay. I'm seeing laying roots here. Someone definitely is coming back. Like I said, they're committed. This is either you, cross watcher, or your cancer. Your cancerian, they want to come back. I see cohesion, finding a way to work, make it work. But in the past, right, there was a lot of barriers here possibly another person that tried to interfere in your relationship. This could even be someone using some type of esoteric magic against the relationship to try to keep you guys apart. I see some type of interference here. I do see a thief, so that could be someone who is trying to come in and try to, like I said, ruin the relationship. Some of you could be spending a lot of time in school, study, focused on something. Um, let me see. What is this about? Let me see if I can get more clarity here. So you're definitely worried that this is not going to last, right? You kind of feel like this is a, this relationship and, and having things work out this time is just a fantasy that it can't really be. So you're having a hard time believing that. But I do feel that amends are going to be made and that there is an opportunity here for, for healing. And there's an opportunity here for things to be balanced again. And I do see the two of you laughing and having a really good time together. This is someone that has a really good sense of humor or someone that knows how to make you laugh or pull you out of a rut. But yeah, I do see you cancers using your skills to help other people. And I do see you getting paid as a result. But definitely, for sure, there is a message coming toward you. Okay. But I see a lot of negativity maybe around you in your environment with your circle of friends. Or this is just you right in your head thinking a lot of negative thoughts but i see unconditional love something here that is destined especially with an air sign or another water sign someone here who has addictions yes could be a virgo but yeah i see that someone this is someone that you have a hard time erasing from your mind someone at a distance from you someone that means a lot to you I feel like there, is, there are hidden blessings involved in this scenario in some way. Okay, let's see here. <sighs> Holy Spirit, show me please the advice for the Cancer Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of July 2019. The advice for the cancers yeah you're dealing with a sag for sure for some of you it says keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark stay focused on the very thing that you want to manifest right you are a manifester you are co-creating don't use your mind as a weapon right in other words don't use it against you don't don't allow your mind to work against you let it work with you to bring in what it is that you want stay focused some of you could be dealing with someone named diana uh, or someone with the name diana could be significant to the situation spend time near water such as a lake river or the ocean to recharge your batteries, right? Go out in nature. If you happen to live near a body of water, Spirit is saying that's going to be very beneficial for you. It may help you get focused or get clear or get centered, okay? And I see true love. We did talk about unconditional love, right? Here it is. It says the romantic stirrings, 
the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Some of you have been praying for the right person to enter your life. For some of you, you're not expecting someone from the past to return. You're not thinking that they're the right person. And for some of you, not all of you, let me stress, not everyone out there, not all cancers out there, is this the person that's meant to be in your life? But for some of you, it is. For others of you, you may choose to love this person from a distance. But in the end, it is your own free will choice to make. So that's what I have for you, Cancerians. Now, if you'd like to book a personal reading, keep in mind, as I stated in the beginning, I do have a sale on 30 and 60 minute sessions on my website, our promo codes. They're also below in the description box. Again, if you decide to use the promo code, type in the promo code and hit enter so that your discount is applied and take a look at the total and make sure it was applied there also. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you again in another video very soon, Cancer.